welcome to the Warwick Folk Festival. Just look at this. This is English Morris dancing. And Morris isn't a forgotten art. It's alive and well and thriving here in Warwick. Now, there are loads of styles that have thrived organically from different areas in the UK. And I'm here today to find out what are some of the different styles of Morris dancing, as well as what makes people so passionate to get involved. So we dance a style called rapper dancing. We're sword dancers, we dance with a bendy sword called a rapper, which is where it gets its name from. So we, we do Cotswold Morris, but our own kind of spin on it basically. Always good to put a spin on it, just a little er 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 It's mainly sort of what most people consider to be Morris dancing, so it's like bells and handkerchiefs uh, and then occasionally some sticks. We're molly dancers, which is a different form of Morris dancing. No bells, no handkerchiefs, no sticks, but we have hobnail boots which make a big loud clunky noise. A crew does border Morris. That's from the Welsh borders, of course, Hereford,shire, Worcestershire, and Shropshire. The border is a free spirit of sorts. We would call it Northwest. What makes it unique? We like to make lines up and down the set. It's usually the clogs. Sheila's got. Her oh, clogs on. she's got her clogs on. We are the outside capering crew. We're loosely based on some of the traditions from the South Midlands area, but. Really, it's arguable whether it looks like Morris at all these days. So really, it's our own style. We do very much what we do and no one else does it. <laughs> Breaking boundaries. 200 years ago, people must have made up new steps. We make up new steps, and sometimes because we need to, and sometimes it's because we're getting old and we can't actually do the steps. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've seen the weather today. It's been tipping it down. So many of these amazing Morris dancers are braving it through the British weather. What does it mean to you as Morris dancers to be able able to come and do this. It's just so much fun in some ways. Like it's something I'm really proud of in Britain, that it's our thing and it's our cultural dance. It's the camaraderie. You get to go to lots of different festivals. It's a chance to dress up. You love your hat, don't you? Oh, I love my hat. Well, I haven't got any hair under here. So <laughs> just the warmth and the acceptance, I think, of the folk scene. It's one of the most friendliest. We'd actually love it to broaden out and get more people involved in it and become a bit more diverse. Everybody can get involved. There's a really good function on the Morris Federation website. Use this search engine if you like and then you can filter by what style and where you are. So there is something for everybody. On behalf of the Morris Federation, we thank you for your love and support. If you would like to come see some Morris dancing for yourself, do make sure you visit the website to find out about upcoming events and we hope to see you there.